And why is this not? It's not that big. Now. That's all right. We don't need diverge or anything now. We got the actual event. So, yeah. And don't pay attention to that. <laughs> Tony. Well, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is our uh, new coverage of the Apple event, which will be starting shortly. We are here in the Techology Show bunker, and we will be uh, working to get this going for you. You may join us. I know that that's, uh, well, let's see, top left, uh, at any point. So come on in. Do, 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 do. Good morning. Hey, good morning. Morning. He's just not exciting. Thank you very much for joining us. It is great to be back in the California theater. We have some very fond memories here and we're going to create a few more today. We've got some really exciting things to show you. And I'd like to get started with a few updates beginning with iPhone. iPhone 5 is off to a tremendous start. Customers love the stunning new design, the beautiful 4-inch retina display, and the super fast A50 chip. We sold out the first weekend, selling more than 5 million units. It was fantastic. This is the most iPhones ever sold in the opening weekend and the most phones ever sold in an opening weekend. The excitement was incredible. Wow. Customers could not wait to get their hands on the iPhone. And of course, there is no better place to do that than in one of our amazing retail stores. To give you an idea of the kind of excitement we saw at the launch, we made a brief video, and I'd love to run it for you this morning. All right, so here we go. Bragging about how awesome the iPhone is, uh, we still want to give you the option. You can come and join us, I believe. Go to our uh, show page. There's a spot where it says the Apple iPad announcement with a button that says Hang Out. It's a button in blue. Click it and join us. Uh, in our conversation, definitely. <laughs> the crowd's there. <laughs> to me, the I think the crowd thing has kind of wore itself out. Okay. Good morning. iPhone 5 is here. Run, run, Invite our public circle again so that uh, Love the chomp sounds. They are so good. Oh, yes. Super, super. Thank you, sir. Isn't that happy? Okay. <laughs> what are you doing? You like the music. Yes, yes. All right, we have one viewer. But nobody to join us yet. Somebody be bold. Come on in. You are allowed. Uh, Steven joined me. Um, Paul Tillman. A few others. So. Our teams work incredibly hard to deliver amazing products like iPhone 5. And seeing this type of customer response 
reminds us of why we absolutely love to do it. At the same time we announced iPhone 5 last month, we announced two new incredible iPods, an all new incredible Nano with a two and a half inch multi-touch screen and built-in Bluetooth and an amazingly thin iPod touch with the same four inch retina display that we have on iPhone 5. These are off to a fantastic start. The reception has been fantastic. Here's what The Verge had to say. This year's iPod Touch is oh, the, the best Verge. one ever. It's really a device without competition. Sales are going fantastic, and I'm pleased to tell you that together with the rest of the new iPod lineup, we've how many sold, sold over 3 oh, million oh. units. We're really happy to be shipping the new iPods in time for the holiday season. We think they're going to Christmas. make incredible holiday gifts. Now, all of our <laughs> iOS devices are powered by iOS 6, our latest version of the world's most advanced mobile operating system. Are people just saying, him and our teams work really, they're really hard they're saying, to make saying, sure as is typical. That Again, this is as if we were broadcasting. <laughs> to the latest operating system. And I'm pleased to tell you that in just after one month, we have 200 million devices running iOS 6. That is incredible. So recap for everybody. What did they just say? The 400 million um, devices running uh, iOS 6. Yeah. This is this is the fastest upgrade. I mean, this goes back to the whole ecosystem thing that Apple has going. Of. Now, iOS 6 and Mountain Lion have been designed to make Macs and iOS devices work together simply and seamlessly. And over the past year, we've announced some great new features that make your life easier. Okay, that's features like documents in the cloud. You can do some amazing work on Pages Keynote or other applications on one device and then pick up right where you left off on Jeez. any of your other devices. Customers oh. have now placed 125 million documents in the cloud just over the last mm -hmm. year, Classic. making them available to all of their devices. And features like iMessage, iMessage of course is the best way to send anyone a message on a Mac or iPod Touch or iPhone or iPad. You can see all of your messages I do like on that all of your lot. devices. And you can start a conversation on one device and continue it on any of your other devices. Already in right. just Chris Sumter's last year, here with us. Customers have sent 300 Welcome, billion messages. And there's Priscilla Hammond. Oh boy. And Jeremy. And Jeremy. Somebody's got a Maybe even more And the culprit is Jeremy. The culprit is Jeremy. You're muted. or an iOS device. We now have 160 million game players. So they can compare scores or compete against. Well, welcome, guys, and you just feel free to jump in uh, and add your thoughts on stuff as we go along throughout here today. Anybody getting an iPad Mini? Let's start with that. Best way to share just. Are they are they selling an iPad Mini? With we don't know yet. <laughs> Jeremy, you getting an iPad Mini? iOS six just one month ago. Oh, you can't hear me. Already shared over 70 million photos. Oh, I heard you. Oh, he's ignoring me. Something like that. No. Uh, no, I probably won't get an iPad mini. I'm anti-social, I guess. You might want to turn that down a little bit. I mean, uh, Tim Cook, because I can't hear anything. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm just out following along with the, um, the blog here. This number is also growing. These apps are not. I see Priscilla's face, but I haven't heard her yet. She's just smiling there nicely. So. 
275,000 iPad specific apps. Yeah, that's huge. Quarter of a million. That's huge, and that's that's the difference between the Android tablet place and the iPad environment. Like, and shows you the Herculean task that Microsoft has before it with its whole Surface thing. Absolutely. Yeah. But it's also great for developers. We can help you need to developers. They paid out six point five billion dollars. What are we going to develop? It's great for Apple to be able to reward. Let's get Jeremy to do it, and if he can get rich, he can tie the ties. Now, one of the most. Yeah. Right. See, this is the big thing. I've heard that everyone going to push iBooks because this is this is the niche they want to hit with their mini tablet. Of course, we'd all be comfortable with our little fourth graders headed out in the morning with their iPhones. And the bookshelf flips to review where you'll find bestsellers. Gorgeous full color picture books. Crash burn. Yikes. We now Crash have burn. What's happening? A million and a half books on the bookstore. And these every kind of subject you could ever think of. Is Jeremy of. being accosted or something? I guess so. Since the of I'm going to miss Jeremy. If you open one of the books, oh, Priscilla's just talking. Gorgeous she's pages. Uh, and I books includes reading options. Priscilla, so don't have your camera on your. Didn't bring you back. Yeah, that's a rookie mistake. You got to take that thing to the other room. I'm rookie mistake. Today, we're announcing. You hear that question? He's not talking into his mic. Uh, are you in Central today? Priscilla, are you in Central? Really cool new reading option with continuous scrolling. Oh, uh, so continuous you, scrolling in iBooks, guys. So instead of those, that page, just as right? You would I just assume oh, that's like an option. Also better integrated with iBooks. You like that idea? So all you of do? your purchased books I'm not sure. show up on your bookshelf. It's cloud integrated. I'm meh on continuous scrolling. What's that, Jeremy? There's also some fantastic. Said I'm meh on continuous okay. scrolling. He says meh. Copy? Hold on, is that a copy? Do I see a copy button there? Whoa. Please oh, tell nice. me. Nice. So that's one of the things that drives me bonkers. That's nice. The Kindle. Yep. You can do it, but it's laborious in Kindle. Mm -hmm. mm. Korean. Yes. Korean. How many times have I heard Matthew say, I wish I could get that in Korean? And Japanese. Um. Japanese. They also have their version of Whispersync across devices. Okay. The new version they don't call it Whispersync, they just call it Sync. iCloud integration, guys. Jeremy, do you own an iOS device? Um, I used to have an iPod Touch, uh, but it took a swim, and uh, that didn't go so good for it. My wife has an iPod Touch, and uh, I can use that whenever I want to. But honestly, I would rather use my Galaxy Nexus Touch with Android 4.1 ice cream on it because, I don't know, a jelly bean just smokes on iOS. That's all there is to it. Yeah, that's true. That Vanilla jelly bean, stock jelly bean. Satisfaction and reliability. And this is pretty much well, I run stock OS, uh, sort of iOS 6. So, <laughs> so what are they, I mean, where is he going with all this stuff here about the PCs and all this kind of stuff? He's just talking, he's being just, they're, this is the braggadocious okay. part of their presentation, saying, hey, look at us. We're the number one growing notebook here. We're the number one selling. I'm chicken finger because with Heath over there, I mean, it's not going to last. I want chicken fingers. What's up with that? Caring is sharing, man. I only had four. How many have you had, Jeremy? Now, we'll oh, that would be none. 
He's eating corn fingers. There is. That's Nicole. Okay. We're going to continue innovating with the Mac. And we've got some really great stuff to Yay. this morning. Show okay, us. here comes Show someone else now. I'd like to invite Phil Schiller up to take there, you through. There, Phil Schiller. Phil? Looks like there's gonna, maybe they're going to be a refresh on the iMac. It looks like it. he's got one covered up there. Did you see that covered in black and cloth? That's what that is. More like a teardrop. I'm just guessing. Like a teardrop. It's going to make you cry when you see it. They're, they're due to refresh a whole bunch of stuff, so hopefully they do. Yeah. A big day for the Mac. And it starts with MacBook. We have a great 13 inch Retina display. No right. And just a few months ago, we introduced perhaps the best we have ever created. Ever in the human. The 15 inch MacBook Chicken. Pro. Hey, Paul. Good morning. Or afternoon for you. How are you doing? Welcome back to another Apple announcement. Hey, Paul. Hello. I asked you if you were getting an iPhone 5 the last time we did this, and the answer was no. You're getting a new MacBook today. No. <laughs> new iPad today. I can't afford it. Are you downloading iBooks 3 today? <laughs> no, I won't be doing that either. It is the best display housed in the best notebook design might not know, Come on, Phil, get to it. You better stop muting me. I don't know how you're able to do that, but you better quit it. She's in a meeting over at Southern West. So hearing you. So much cooler, more about capable. Oh, right. I'm really excited. To you guys know who you are. You produced a video for me. 13 inch MacBook Pro. MacBook Pro. Mm -hmm. With Retina Display. With Retina Display. Now, I'm going to tell you something. What's the price going to be? What's the price going to be? Because the difference in price between the 15 without Retina and the 15 with Retina is like 400 bucks. $1,600. No. <laughs> oh. Wait. What's the starting price now? I'm going with 17 $1,699. I say $1,699 is what the Retina 13 is going to cost. Yeah. yeah. It'll, it'll be four. And I got to run, guys. It's been fun. See you later. Bye bye. I say it'll be $1,499. It's twenty percent thinner. Thin display and all the IO up so customers need. On the left hand side, then what? Listen, I've been super impressed with the USB three USB port on my laptop. I mean, I can run a full OS off an external drive. It's fascinating and just wonderful. So it's basically the same portage as the Retina MacBook. Yeah. Best of all. It has a retina display. That is a display with the pixels. 2560 so by 1600. Distance, your eye can't discern. Everything on it is absolutely gorgeous. Weighs 3.5 pounds. It measures 13.3 inches on the diagonal. For pixels, an amazing 2560 by 1600. That is four times the number of pixels of the previous generation. Four times, see. If you've done the math, I'm sure some of you have. That's four million. I did. I actually just completed that calculation, pixels. Bill. Thank you. That makes it the world's second highest resolution notebook computer. Yes, our 15 inch is the first. But think about that. This 13 inch notebook has more pixels than any competitive 15 or even 17. What about a 27 inch iMac with the Retina amazing. display? Looked at another way. Many of us have HD TVs now, 1920 by 1080, and here is the new 13 inch. Not I'm not far from 2560. Showing the same image, but let's overlap those images. You can see the 13-inch MacBook Pro's Retina what display displays almost wow, twice check that out. Pixels, almost two million more pixels than an HD TV. It on is a stunning display. In many other I'm, ways as well, it has rich color, blog, blog, deep blog. glass, 29% higher contrast ratio. And customers really appreciate this: a 75% reduction. We're on a delay here because we're afraid what you'll say. It's an IPS panel, so it's a very minutes. wide viewing angle, <laughs> and a full brightness. It's a very bright display. What did you say it was? This is but an amazing display. And your applications are fantastic. So reading emails, <laughs> yeah. the text, 
so well, the, the pen starts to know. Surfing the web would be like a fine print magazine. There's never been a small notebook that gives pro photographers this kind of technology. I like Phil applications are great that. too. When you use iMovie, the small thumbnails of the video are even stunningly sharp. What was the point of him comparing that to a big screen TV? Well, right. if you were doing like video editing inside of that uh, and you had a preview window, basically you're seeing your full resolution product as you're working on it rather than it being scrunched down, anything like that. Um, I guess, but I'm, I guess I'm just looking at it in terms of media. If I, I, I don't use a big screen TV for my computer monitor, and if I'm watching a movie, if I'm watching on my computer, it's because I'm in the airport or some location like that. And if I have a choice to watch my big screen TV, I'm going to use that instead of a little computer. Well, all I know is that with these retina computers, from what I've heard, people who are in production, who are going to be doing, who do major production work, think that that is just absolutely fantastic. Okay, so so they're talking for video editing, not necessarily for entertainment. For editing, I mean, Alex Lindsay would yeah. say that. He, he what? I think that. the most really? exciting yeah. part about this. Yeah, if you've heard him on recent podcasts for Mac Mac Weekly, no, I, let's take the he, he thinks the way to go are Mac Minis. Everything about with, with Thunder, he wants to he wants to see a Thunderbolt um, connection. First, the large dark areas around today? the trackpad. Those are the batteries. Who's asymmetric? Eight gigaram battery technology. Soldered. Do you see the Do you see the chips? On such a small design. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> Sadly, I've got a very pretty um, right there's Intel HD graphics, four thousand Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, standard eight gigabytes of memory. Wow, up, well, up to a seven sixty eight gig flash drive for storage. And of course, now up to seven hours of battery life. It's such a thin. So are they just running this although off fantastic. of that Intel HD four thousand? If so, that's an integrated chip. And I'm shocked. I mean, because the the 15 inch would have an NVIDIA chip that drives that display along with that, and even it, from what I hear, it gets laggy sometimes. One of the reasons I put the brakes on our retina. That's your predicting. No, you just saw it. There it is. And wow. I told, I, hey, what, what did we say? What did I say? 1600? So I was off by 99. What did you say? Oh, I said 14. 14? 1499. What did you say? Oh, that is crazy, man. Wow. Of course, this doesn't mean they're not going to produce a 13 inch without retina, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean they still produce a 15 inch. That's another. They're eco friendly. It won't even hurt when it hits your head. It's so. <laughs> Can no longer be used as a weapon. It's so high. It's green. Hey, Apple. The 15 inch Mac Pro with retina. We should just like cut the cut this off and let you present. It, as it's happening during their audio up, since you guys are ahead, you could do the whole presentation for Schiller. We can predict what Schiller's going to say. <laughs> Guess what, guys? It ships today. Yeah, if you get four of those for the show, please. <laughs> Hang out of this account. <laughs> They're going to use for it. I like reading a little bit. Hang out of account. Take it out of that headquarters account we hacked. <laughs> All right. Oh, what did we? we, we oh, oh, yeah. It's our big commercial now. Introducing. Just enjoy this. The new 13-inch MacBook Pro. It's the best mm. computer ever, ever, ever manufactured in a 13-inch. Russell Purvis, welcome, sir. Now, if you're wondering, if you are listening, and you're wondering why I'm keeping the audio from this event down, it's because I have a feeling we're going to get a copyright claim against us when this gets published. So we're trying to talk over it as much as we can to throw off the 
copyright bot. <laughs> okay, moving on to the Mac Mini now, guys. Air starting at nine ninety nine. Those who still want it, we keep the old generation there. Mac I'm really Pro curious about the Mac Mini. The new MacBook Pros with the Retina display. You know, the Mac Mini is their smallest and most affordable. Of course, you know there are multiple screen sizes on these different configurations. The it's, it's, they are cool little devices. I like them. All of our MacBooks. We can and of course, there's a wide range here. It's something for nearly everyone. So that updates our MacBook lineup, and it is the best line of portables we have okay. ever offered. Well, now you can. Not yeah, I We're feeling the spirit of prophecy here in the uh, technology show studio. I'm gonna tell you what, there are gonna be four USB three, three ports on this and SD card reader. And Priscilla, the answer to your question is yes, lighter battery life. Yeah, good. Wow, up to 16 gigabyte of RAM, i i5 and i7 processor. Nice. So there's HDMI port wow. in Thunderbolt, which means you can do dual Whoa. display. Four USB 3 ports. And nice. And nice. I've actually got in there. What did I replace? A hard drive. That's what I did. What's inside? Dual or quad Intel Core i5 or i7 Ivy Bridge processors. Intel HD graphics Core 1000. Uh, they're they're going to charge at least 1000 bucks. Up to 16 nice. gigabytes of memory. No, the base model is going to be 600. Number of configurations that starts. The 2.5 gigahertz dual core i5, 4 gigs of memory. So that way I need to get my hard drive on the server for just 5. Yeah, there it is, 600. But you'd have to, you, I tell you, 8 gigs and that core i7 processor and a solid state drive. Would you drive that price up? So we have 2.3 gigahertz quad core i7. Four gigs of memory and two one terabyte hard drives, right right you know, and OS 10 server applications preloaded for 9.99. And these all start. Yeah. And equally environmentally friendly as well. Energy Star 5.2, EP Gold, BFR free, PVC oh, free, and highly recyclable. And Mac Mini is still the world's most energy efficient desktop. At idle, it consumes just 11 watts. Really impressive. I hope they showed the original. Well, we said this was a free day for the Mac. There's one more Mac that I can tell you all about. There you go, iMac. And that's the iMac. The oh, iMac is the original. best all-in-one computer in the industry. Yeah. You've heard. That it's actually like the number one desktop model in the U.S. And for good reason. Huh. It is a great design. It's evolved over many Uh-oh. Uh -oh. I just lost my name my... here. That's all right. Right there it is. They're showing, right now, they're showing the original iMac. Yes, with the Bondi Blue iMac. In fact, this really you. relaunched all of our products. And I know why the you kept saying show the original how iMac. Innovative they are, <laughs> how incredible the designs are. This it is cool, though, the evolution here. Now, so to me, well, it really is fascinating. A breakthrough innovative I'd love to have one of those old years, Bondi Blue. Relentlessly Blue. keep updating here, the are. latest technology Same to push here. it as far as the technology allows. We've had seven generations of iMac, each one better than the last. What's it going to look like, guys? It's going to be thinner. That's why it's so great today. Solid state to drive. Get rid of the spinning drive. I don't even know that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, going to do away with the optical drive in it, dude. Okay. Yeah, that's what the is. Here it is. Here it is. Here's the drive. Oh, my word. So it looks like a laptop screen. Tony just did a spit take. He was so excited about that. <laughs> Are you okay? I'm like maneuver. Oh, we lost. We lost Phil again. Phil, we can't hear you. Phil, come back, Phil. <laughs> it is stunning from every side. Edge to edge glass, that amazingly on, thin. Guys, edge. Not, they're not giving us a like to see one Well, you know it's going to bulge out there in the back. So. It's going to be rounded we around have the one back. Right here. I know it. So, well, so let us see it. So, this it. is the brand new iMac. It is absolutely <laughs> incredible. The most beautiful I Mac. I love that you can spit take. That yeah. makes me. I want to get a look at how thin it is. 
Come on, keep going, keep going, keep. You see, okay, so you can start to see. Just remarkable. How Look at him. That's, that's not right. Just turn it on its side so we can see it, man. An entire computer in here. Wow. It's hard to believe there's even just a they, display they have, in here. Look at how they're working the angles. Oh. All right, let me tell you a lot more. About this. So essentially, you, if you could imagine on this iMac that we have in front of us, guys, think about the part where the foot than the previous generation. Where the foot meets the back. And it extends it's still going to be about that same length. thickness. It just All the way down to this area at the bottom, the we, we lovingly call this the chin. <laughs> now, the, this enclosure is made of two parts, that chin and that entire big aluminum back. And they're put together previously with some advanced laser welding. But this is so thin, we wanted to do something Sumter's back. even more incredible. The we engineering heard team from is you yet. a technology, you may not have heard of it, called friction stir welding. This is unbelievable. You know, the actual molecules of the aluminum. Well, I'm not a big Apple fan, so I don't have a lot to say. <laughs> that okay. is super strong and nearly seamless. You just fake it, Chris. The yeah. lengths they will go to to create these products is. Astounding. I was just thinking. First, uh, Apple got rid of the hard drive, and then got rid of the CD drive or the uh, the peripherals and the CD drive, and now they've gotten rid of the computer. Thanks. The previous thing. <laughs> they look old. It's incredible. <laughs> Well, let's it's a look picture inside. frame. It's going to be wild when the display goes away. Oh, wait, yep. that's mini. Uh. <laughs> the first thing we did was engineer an entirely new display that's five millimeters thinner. It's a huge difference. And if you ever look closely at the previous generation, there's a very thin air gap between the display and the front. Yeah, look at the yes, resolution. There is. The resolution is going to be the same as that. We remove that right now, as well. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me. By laminating the display, that's going to make life difficult. That full laminated display, like challenge. we took yours apart to get that solid state the drive in there. That laminated the display, I have to imagine, is going to make life much, difficult, much more difficult. Much more difficult. Forty-five percent thinner. You need I fix to make a big that down as fast as possible. Then we remove the optical drive and completely re-engineer all the internal components to make something this amazingly thin. Talk a little bit more about this display. Cheating though by showing it at that sizes. angle, guys. You're cheating. 21 and a half inch to 27 um, inch. The 27 inch is 2560 by 1440. The 21 and a half inch, 1920 by 1080. There, no 24 inch. They're both IPS panels for a beautiful view. It hasn't angle. been for a while, has it? And at full brightness, over 300 nits. I don't think so beautifully it bright. It's fully laminated. Oh, Besides making it thin, the full lamination Same. delivers another benefit. So what was it? Look at it. The text and graphics will look like they're sitting right on top of the be glass. The same. They went that close, and it improves the optical <laughs> quality. And then we also apply an anti-reflective coating to the display. But we want you to make it even purer, even thinner, even higher quality image image quality. We use a new technology for us called plasma deposition. They put the plasma on the deposition stain. Plasma deposition. Plasma deposition. It allows us to apply the anti-reflective coating down to a nanometer thickness. And the combination of all this hard work is really simple. The customers are going to appreciate that it's 75% less reflection than the previous generation. That's a really big deal. And to top it off, these displays are beautiful. They're each individually calibrated on the manufacturing line. cameras, they are pretty fantastic. I mean, on my phone. Oh, on the phone, it was a huge difference. Priscilla says, Some even if you're features, not a fan of Apple, you've got to be a HD fan of friction stir welding. <laughs> microphones and stereo, a stereo sound system that sounds even better than a previous generation, extra, right? which is so hard to achieve because this has 40% less volume than the previous generation. Friction stir welding. Okay, she can come talk about it. Yeah. Over the previous generation. Pretty remarkable. Pretty remarkable. And again, like the MacBook Pro, so much work has gone on on the inside I'm very happy to show you what that looks like. The there is a serious <laughs> computer inside this thin design. Here are some of the elements of it. Yeah. Intel you know Quad really Core i5 or i7 this? Ivy Bridge processors. Yeah. NVIDIA 3 <laughs> You can have either that, up to 700 like or, is, or up to 3 uh, terabyte hard drives. That, that and up to 32 behind. gigabytes of memory. Yeah, That's twice as much as your goal. Processor and solid state drive. Headphone port, SD card reader, four USB. Three ports, look at the look at the, the SD slot is, Teej. Did yeah, you, you I did. did. I saw that. I want to so talk about back. storage a just a little now bit more. Now it's on the side. 
As I said, customers can choose a hard drive if they want, and many customers you do don't want. They want. Trust me, capacity. you don't want a hard drive. You want a solid Others drive. choose flash yes, because that gives you maximum performance. Oh, they're doing a hybrid many drive. Check it out. Watch. Four times faster at key tasks. Is the flash faster than the? Well, with the iMac, as well as the Mac Mini we just discussed, what? we have a new third option. For flash is solid state. It's called the Apple Fusion Drive. There you go. They're doing a hybrid drive that's going to have a cache drive? like that drive I bought for so Greg. First. Yep. It's 128 gigabytes of flash storage. And added wow. to that, your choice, either one or three terabyte hard drive. Wow. Okay, that's nice. Software that is, that's very nice. fused together into one logical volume. You do this so, so you get much faster. All right, we lost his audio again. That's uh, essentially what we have on our show computer so that, that runs the show. Up, it's a 120 manage, gig solid it state drive works. that then all the other data so is on. Well, when you order your iMac, it's fantastic. You choose the Fusion Drive. They're saying that you get it in this one drive, out, made up of know, both the flash and the hard drive. Find, um, of course, the operating system entirely fits that. on that flash, so right. we keep it there for maximum how system performance. How, in how fact, all the software that comes you know, pre-installed on your iMac automatically yeah. fits in flash. What do you worry about? And then, as you load up applications and documents or migrate them from a previous computer, everyone who's up all the space and use the storage you have, and credit card number, and then automatically, as you're using your computer. OS X's Fusion Drive is figuring out what you use the most and what will and that's essentially from being what we're going to be doing. So, for example, you don't use iMovie very often, but you use a lot of old high power numbers spreadsheets. Mm -hmm. They might move those on the Flash. Or perhaps you use Aperture, not Jeremy iPhone, or to move kind of Aperture to Flash and run it from there as well. All transparently yeah. from, from you. You just use it, it works. He's going to sell his cars, so how does everything it perform? Owns, but using that Aperture example, one common task in Aperture is to import photos. If you use a hard drive, you get a certain speed. And flash is over three and a half times faster at this task. So how does the fusion drive compare? Yeah, how does it? Here's how it compares. Get it's near the faster. performance of flash. And what's going to be happening there is it's going to be caching as you're pulling in pictures. Else. It's going to be caching those on the solid state drive. And then as it gets them in, it's going to slower, you know, slowly oh, put oh, them on the spinning drive. So, so that's the fusion drive. Really the iMac the comes with a wireless keyboard, uh, I'll, I'll wireless that. magic mouse. Yeah. Be of course, surprised. Many customers also choose a wireless magic trackpad as well. I like the trackpad. That's and for those who still are stuck in the past, yes, you can get an optical drive. We offer a great super drive that plugs into USB. Wow. There's a 21 and a half inch wow. I'm Mac really that starts at, at a 2.7 gigahertz too. quad core wow. i5, 8 gigs I'm of shocked. memory, a GeForce GT 640M, that's a Kepler part, and a terabyte still. hard drive for just $12.99. So I think that's a good price for the $29.5. Yeah. Yeah. That's a genuine aspect of the company. What's that? Of course, you can, you can make up the configurations as you want. He decided he couldn't he take it. He was going to become an Apple no fanboy if he stuck around. Anymore. The 27 inch iMac begins with a 2.9 gigahertz quad core i5, nice. 8 gigs of memory, GeForce GTX 660M, a terabyte hard drive for 1799 And these I start shipping. I think that's a decent price. I tell you what, what so we tend to forget about, about these iMacs is the December. display in there. The display again, itself, like we've looked to find a display of this friendly, resolution, and, start and that's about six hundred dollars. Gold and on and on. Just you've also that panel. This new iMac Nothing even else. more energy efficient. Uses up to fifty percent oh, less power oh, when sitting idle. This so those are the new iMacs. Twenty-one and a half inch. Yeah, that's right. They haven't even got to perhaps the, the boldest new iMac designs like to talk about the you've iMac. ever created, and they carry on this great tradition we call iMac. And that completes our announcement for Mac. I'd like to turn it back to Tim. Hey, this is way off topic, but have you guys done a show about Raspberry Pi and devices like that? Have we done a show about Raspberry Pi specifically? No, we yeah, have not. I mean, I've seen it. And... These products are really cool. <laughs> <laughs> Next, I'm at the computer, man. I'd like to talk about bringing Tim Cook out to do this announcement. Now, it seems like each time we get together. There's a new number or a new statistic to illustrate the growth and momentum of this product. And today, I'm thrilled to tell you that two weeks ago, we sold our 100th million iPad.
That's 100 million in He's just come up with a two and a half years. Astounding in terms of this is unprecedented. Yeah, we lost his audio again there. Okay. Again, um, that's. It, let me see here. We sold more iPads in June quarter than any PC in the June sold. quarter. There you go. Here he's showing the graph for it right now. Manufacturers sold of their entire PC line. <laughs> now this has attracted a fair amount of attention, and it seems like every day there's another tablet shipping. But when you look at the ones that are really being used, the numbers tell a different story iPad accounts for over 90% of the web traffic. I'd like to know how current that is because I I've, I've heard different I I've heard this differently is the on that. Not most often on a tablet. I, I, not that I mean iPad still has the majority, but I'm not sure that that pie chart so I think they're enjoying that number so from about 6 months ago. Yeah. They are also only talking tablets. Turns out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. because there's a lot of people that use their phone just like a tablet. Yeah, so. People love. Yeah, well, their I think iPads. with um, the Nexus Seven and with Kindle they Fire, I, I bet you those numbers big, are not current. Beautiful, now, you know, touch display. In that, does in the in that uh, pie chart, the it could be. I may be thinking of just of iOS six as compared towards Android together. and other stuff. So it could be. They love in the front just a tablet. That's absolutely perfect for maybe. FaceTime. I think maybe I'm thinking of and an the iOS eyesight number. Camera. But, it takes great I still, I'd be interested to know where that HD number came video. from. Well, they are really going to try to push they this love new that iPad they can connect thing. anywhere they go, using either Wi-Fi or cellular. I think it's hipster. They love they iPads, iPads legendary all-day battery life. And they love it's not all of the That's amazing apps that, that, it's that have been it's optimized for iPad I, my kids, I'll have one in there. to help them work play, create, textbooks on it. and learn. Good my son can't see. <laughs> One of the things that is so rewarding and so amazing to us Come on, get to it. is how quickly iPad has been embraced in education. <laughs> Administrators, <laughs> teachers, and students around the world have found iPad to be an incredible learning tool Here's an example of what we're hearing. This is from a superintendent of a school district in Texas. He says, the iPad has been a real game changer in education. No technology has impacted the way teachers teach and students learn more quickly and more profoundly. With iPad, the possibilities are endless. We really believe oh, yeah. that. Hurry up. I got and we saw this early on. Earlier this year, we announced iBooks Author to make it easy and simple to create rich, have you ever played with engaging, well, multi-text Tony, you've gotten textbooks. familiar with Keynote. It should be totally natural to you. Oh, really? It's exactly, I mean, gorgeous same interface, layouts, same paradigm. Interactive diagrams, photos, and videos. In fact, iBooks textbooks are now available Self -publishing. for 80% of the U.S. high school core curricula. And these are rich, engaging textbooks on a variety of subjects from the sciences to mathematics and history. Traditional publishers are not interested in this format. Though. I mean, these are enough to make you want to be a kid again. Yes, we, they have storerooms, they have to fill. iBooks books. textbooks i posing people. <laughs> yeah, we lost the audio from Apple again on this one. All right. Well, well right now he's just talking about new templates, new fonts. <laughs> and it's not just the large three publishers that are using this. Smaller publishers, teachers, universities are using this to provide very engaging content. Now today, we're announcing the latest version of iBooks Author, and it includes some incredibly new Apple templates, oh, like this one that's a portrait-only template. Publishers can now 
take their own fonts and use them to provide a more custom look of their books. And beginning also today, publishers can directly insert these beautifully rendered mathematical expressions directly into their books. This is actually See, very big. Skepticism. I was going by you. We're also Ooh, announcing yeah, multi-touch widgets it, to provide That's even cool. more options cool. for interactivity. And publishers can now easily update their books. This is especially key in education where it's very important that students have access to the latest version of their textbooks. <laughs> So, iBooks author Tony, is your, your today daughter as a free with download. Connections Academy. On the I mean, Mac do you see where they could just run with something like this? They could create entire now, lines of in curriculum. In addition to education, if this iPad were a part is taking of that. the they business could. market yeah. by storm. At this point. They in have the office, every book she has, in the field, she has, and in places you could never dream of seeing a PC, iPad is showing up more and more and doing more and more things. When it's just in PDF form, it's just not. In fact, almost to be able to update though, to, to take a textbook and make a new edition of it or make or a change to it. I love it. And we're seeing a similar success in smaller business. Publishers don't like that because they now, can't charge you the same thing. Now. That's right. With a hundred million sold in so just two and a half years. We couldn't be more thrilled with how quickly iPad has been embraced by so many users get filled for back so many different things. To show us the iPad. I don't think Schiller will do it. But we know Took well, won't he? we are just getting started. Yeah. Earlier this <laughs> year, <laughs> we here. announced Phil Schiller, don't you get up on stage, Tony. <laughs> and this iPad has gone on to be the fastest selling iPad of all time and the top selling tablet in the world. But we're not taking our foot off the gas. We've got some really cool stuff to show you. And to do that, I'd like to invite Phil back up to the stage. Phil? Here we go. Here he comes. Come on, Phil. Just tell us. Tell us it's going to be three hundred and twenty million dollars to this too Thank expensive you. this device. So just half a year ago, we introduced the third generation iPad. I'm going to tell you, if you had your hands on the Nexus Seven, and it's remarkable. It is very impressive. So that's it why is. it's more it incredible really that we're sitting. I would never go out and pay. No. Oh, no. Lost no. Him. Oh, no, no. So what happened right after he stepped out on stage? Hold on, hold on. Now what? Let's let's go from where when he stepped out on stage. Go it's back a whole to that. New machine. Okay. With the A six X processor. Uh -huh. you know, so far ahead of the competition, I can't even see them in the rear view mirror. Right. These are all the recent updates. It's um, going to be created by Acer. <laughs> Acer. The fourth generation iPad is a powerhouse. So it's got the A six. X processor, double the CPU and graphics performance should bring up iPhone 5 levels. Uh, 10 hours of battery life. FaceTime camera now 720p. Oh, good. Expanded LTE. And it, which one are they talking about here? What are they talking the, about? The, the fourth generation. So okay. this is, they're calling this the fourth generation iPad. Okay. LTE, wow. as Keith just said. Yeah, I'm surprised by that. Yeah. Sprint will get it. So all of this hey, power, there we are. Two Good. That's the same processor. Power, two times no. graphics power. New image That's beyond what's in and the iPhone 5, that A6. The same 10 hours of battery life of the previous generation. Yeah. We're also updating picture. the FaceTime no front side camera kidding. tail, FaceTime <laughs> HD with 720p. It's totally disconnected. The <laughs> side yeah. version has LTE <laughs> with greatly expanded coverage. <laughs> We're working with many carriers it's around the world to support LTE wow. performance really? on this new fourth generation well, iPad. No, USB. Oh, 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 you know oh, I was going to say built into the device. Don't, no, no, no. don't get my hopes up here. KDDI in Japan. We've also updated <laughs> the Wi-Fi wi wi performance the wi as well. It's up to twice as fast. It's 802.11 A, oh, B, word. G, N, and oh, N is 2.4 and 5. Hold on, away because I have no I'm idea. Just let it happen. We've updated the connector to our latest connector, the Lightning connector. It's 80% uh -huh. okay. smaller, all digital, Lightning. reversible. That's pretty cool. It can go upside down. It's still working. Nice, nice, nice. for iPhone 5, iPod Touch, I'm iPod Air. We've added some new cables as well. Customers who want camera connections, we have 
lightning to USB and lightning to an SD card reader. Mm -hmm. For video mm -hmm. out, okay. there's lightning to HDMI and lightning to VGA. Cool. And all of this technology and performance is, of course, based on a system with this breakthrough new Retina display, for which there's nothing as beautiful in the market. The fourth generation iPad comes in both black and white. And it starts with the same configuration as the last generation, 16 gigabytes. Okay, Wi -Fi so this is still our 10-inch iPad oh. that we're talking about. <laughs> New features, <laughs> the same price. No, this is still, we're still talking about the 10-inch iPad. But that's that's still good. Our, as well, the same price, starting at 629 So you've got in your the iPad 3, you've got 512 megabytes of tablet in the world. The fourth generation just extends that lead. That and it's all about helping customers to learn about this great new technology and find new ways to use it that they never dreamed of. So what else can we do to yes. help customers Phil, find even more uses need? for iPad? You can shrink it. Use it in places they never imagined, in manners they never have before. I'm going to call the iPad mini. There it is, the iPad Mini. We can't hear you, you Phil. Speak up. Is. Speak up, Phil. Well, you can hold this one in one hand. Yes. I'm glad Apple invented the device you could do it. Nice of them to make it. Good job, you old lady. You said they'd never do this. Well, he said they'd never There's do it. Nothing is amazing. I think we can help by our excitement and know what this is. This is iPad Mini. And oh, more fun. More fun. You know, listen, coming off an iPad 2, this and is where my next... What can you do with an iPad Mini Waiting that you can't already do with the amazing fourth generation iPad? When the well, time this, comes you to... You can it. hold it in one hand. Now, this you just your isn't a shrunken down iPad. It's an entirely <laughs> new design. So this beautiful aluminum and glass enclosure where every detail is finely crafted and made. Just exquisite. And the process by which they're manufactured are at a level of tolerance is unseen in our industry. There is nothing as amazing as this. Oh, it's incredibly thin nice. and beautiful iPad mini. Beautiful from every angle. Incredibly thin and light. Would you like to see one in person? No. <laughs> Not at all. There it is. This is iPad Mini. Yeah. 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 I hope it's that same processor. That'd make me happy. Here, let me I thought you. he was going to come out with an empty hand and just say, here it is. You can't see it anymore, but it exists. <laughs> it's so thin, you can't see it. It's 7.2 millimeters thin. <laughs> That's about a quarter thinner than the fourth generation iPad. To put it in context, it's as thin as a pencil. That's thin. It weighs just 0.68 pounds. That's over 50% lighter than the previous iPad. Speak up, Phil. Phil. You thought the old iPad would fall easy. Now the new one can fall even <laughs> <That's> easier. <laughs> heavier. So we came out with a pad of paper comes in black and white, the white with silver, the black with a slate back. It's yeah. beautiful on both sides. So I think one of the biggest questions people wonder is, what screen size did we pick and why? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the team worked really hard thinking about this. It said 1024 by 768. It's capable of running all that amazing software written for iPad without developers having to do any work. We wanted to be smaller such that it we could be thinner and lighter. We spent a lot of time thinking that we could see. use the but same so resolution we used in the iPad too. Because the iPad <laughs> is the most usable of all these devices. So let's look at it side by side. Here's current iPad 2 next to the iPad mini. The iPad 2 is 9.7 inches on the diagonal. iPad mini, 7.9. There you go. So that's easy to remember, right? right. 9.7, 7.9. I'll write that down. And the pixels are even easier to remember because they're Someone exactly the same. The original up. iPad, the iPad 2, or 1024 by 768, ladies and gentlemen. Phil, speak up. We can't hear you. Quit mumbling. He says that this thing is great for reading. All works on the iPad mini, unchanged. And it's great to use in both the portrait 
and landscape. So essentially, oh, what, go in portrait well, and landscape. <laughs> oh, wow. That's something that the Nexus 7 wouldn't do Great until it was for, updated. So we oh, don't even. Email, do it. Surfing the web. It's Great. For managing all your photos and sharing them with friends one of the, and family. One of the drawbacks it's fantastic that I for kicking back didn't and reading mention a magazine too much about that Nexus 7 was that the navigation it buttons is, were on the display, and so they ate up a portion of what you had to display. Right, exactly. Locations, keynote, pages, numbers. It's fantastic for all the iLife applications, oh, you know, iPhoto, I mean, the iMovie, though, garage band. I mean, it is so much fun the to iPad, sit there and play multi-touch software instruments and garage band on a thin and light iPad. It all works. No and one all of those applications that. work wonderfully on it. Yeah, well, so if you're a customer who likes to use Facebook all day long, you're going to love using Facebook on the new iPad. Oh, we love creating content with applications like Paper, an amazing drawing I love Kino. I love Kino. I love doing that on iPad Mini. If you love playing games, playing incredibly amazing games like Real Racing 2 are incredible. On the new iPad. In fact, I could sit there. Bill. Bill. Go ahead. I would love to, Back to but we don't have enough time. They work amazing on iPad Mini. No one else can say that with their tablets. In fact, oh. others have tried to make tablets small on the oh, iPad. Oh, okay. don't, don't tell me. These are don't not great experiences. Well, why? Please say 199, Bill. No, 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 please. No, no, I'm not talking price. So here oh. we have iPad Mini on the so right the and an Android seven. tablet on this the left. This is okay. something that Apple does not do. Most well, unless they feel a threat. Exactly. When they, no, when, this is my hey, point. When well, the, uh, what was it, uh, the, 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 the antenna gate. They compared the iPhone 4 to all those other Android phones, saying, look, all these phones do that. Where is this company? I mean, the company is everyone else. Hold the news with one hand. Theirs made of plastic. Yeah, right there. It's thicker. In fact, the entire I mean, product, I'm, that Android you know, product, is thicker um, and heavier Google than iPad Mini, even though it has a smaller display. In this, in this particular so let's look at those market. displays. On the diagonal, and, and there's a think, 7 Google's inches. Got an announcement the iPad Mini is 7.9. You wait and see, man. That doesn't yeah, sound like a lot more, They're going to come back it. swinging. You, they That's will. on the diagonal. The actual area of the display, 21.9 well, square inches. Oh, this is nothing, Phil. It's a 16 by 9 6. display on the Nexus the 7. That's a 4 by 3 display on the iPad Mini. I mean, that's just... 35%. That's a huge difference. But... Yeah, and it doesn't yeah, stop Yeah, that means there. when you watch a movie What's on the, number the one iPad thing? Mini... It has bigger bezel. That's right. Surf the web. We love to surf the web. It does. I mean, that's what it Exactly. But now here, I do agree. This this interface, do you see the home button, the back button, and the... Like, and that's annoying that part browsers. of your screen real estate is taken up around the by... Yeah, but look at that shot, Android TJ. They're making that, that Nexus the look wider display. than it is. Let's remove all that noise and just look at the I, they way are not, They are not doing the right. Well, they are really mocking up here, man. Yeah, I, I, I disagree. Mini, I think that's right. Then go ahead. <laughs> what they've done there is correct. Holding your portrait orientation. Now do something in landscape, though, Phil. Watch a movie, and let's see what you have. You said many customers also like to use it in the landscape but, orientation. Yeah. Let's turn them sideways to remove all the noise around it. Now I see, and now he's taking the chrome bezel, which if you scrolled down would go away. So you're cheating, man. Look at that. I, I love it. Mean, this there is a gigantic difference going after in these the Nexus products. 7. And it doesn't stop there. They're threatened by it. almost third-party applications. As Tim told you, we have these amazing applications I don't know, I guess, uh, for iPad users. Just a We've learned. We have over 700,000 applications that can run an iPad, Android but customers love the ones actually. written for iPad, designed for that screen. Over 275,000 of them. What does the other Boy, platform if you're have? 7 they have person, phone applications right stretched now. up. Not uh -huh. tablet applications. Oh yeah, yeah. So for example, to know that you're legitimate. Yeah, like <laughs> it gives you, it gives you affirmation you in your life. Great experience on <laughs> iPad Apple Mini. can't ignore you. You get a scaled up phone experience on that other product. It's a it big difference. The difference between the apps. Do you like to shop? And there's truth in this too. There's truth in this. You can do it on an iPad. There's truth in that there's a difference between the apps. Do you like to listen to music in Pandora? The differences are right there. Do you like to go search for videos to watch in Vimeo? A great experience. Not great experience. <laughs> like to plan your trip on TripAdvisor. Sure. An incredible experience on iPad Mini. Phases, well, you know, right? <laughs> so we can go on and on. I disagree. But you mentioned about the uh, maps. <laughs> the maps, yeah. <laughs> <That's not laughs> <laughs> iPad Mini yeah. is a great. You're driving down the road fast, trying to look at the directions inside, on inside are equal to or better than the iPad 2 in every way. There's okay. an amazing set 
of technology that make this no. great iPad. First, no. There's an Apple A5. No. Oh, it's wow. the same processor that's on the iPad 2. So essentially, this is an iPad 2 that has just been gone from 10 inches to okay. 7.9. That's an upgrade. So that, oh, yeah. that's going to be a better camera. Yeah. An even bigger difference. On the camera in the back. Matthew, did you send an invite to Chad McCallum? He was wanting one. Oh, let's see here. I don't know. Did he? Uh, he's got a fan the show page, and then we'll get him in here and see. What we had on if I see too. that he's done that. The wireless has advanced greatly too. It has the same LTE capabilities that you see in our new fourth generation. I think it's ah, here we go. Wires. Here we go, Chad. Getting into your chat. Well. Hold on. Eight hundred twelve A, B, G, N, and N at two point four five gigahertz. Twice as fast Wi Fi. Like, I don't want to even see the price. built in that lightning connector, so it's really compatible with the accessories being created for iPhone 5, the fourth generation. Now, I've seen iPad, the lightning connector iPod on the Touch iPhone and iPod 5. Nano. I actually and all of this technology, nice. and like all this incredible capability, and such a thin no and light device, to it. the team has worked really hard to get you the same battery life. 10 I'm hours really of battery nice. life, just like the fourth generation iPad. So hopefully. So hopefully, as you've been hearing about all oh, these features that. and performance and capability, you see, I mean, they will be coming every threat inch. Three, though, I don't think you got to be. Just created a video right. to tell you a lot more about it. I'd like to play that now. I think is the is the sweet spot for that. Oh, good. There's From the very video. beginning, Johnny I. Of course, it's Johnny I. It's designed to be very powerful, very capable, but also remarkably simple to use. That's not for me. Yeah, so our comes goal Chad. was to take all of the amazing things yeah, that four sides I had, but pack them into a product that is so down, much yeah. smaller. That's cool. And that's what we did with the new yeah. iPad Mini. You, you One of the things that makes iPad so incredible hey, is that this, there's Michael? almost no end to what this you can do with it. So when we decided to make the iPad Mini, I don't know. I'm getting stuck here sure in my broadcast. iPad so magical. We, we began with a display that has the same resolution as the iPad 2. So all well, that bums me out a little bit. I really, you gotta, you gotta get that uh, that processor and memory. Still, you're still gonna have the same problems on this iPad Mini that you're gonna have on an iPad 2. Like if I'm running a really intensive app, like it'll just flake out at a certain point because its RAM has just been used up and that'll be a crash. And it runs more than 275,000 apps a just for iPads. These are rocking an A5X. These are powerful. This is an A6 and the iPhone 5, the iPad fourth generation, whatever they called it. All your favorite music, A6 and TV shows. So it's an improvement on this, probably in the graphics. Um, so this is the same as what's in an iPhone 4. Here's what's on this iPad. And another thing we're really excited about is that iPad Mini comes with FaceTime HD. Seeing your friends and family in high definition makes you feel like you're that much closer. Chad, are you buying an done, iPad? Just take the original mm -hmm. iPad and just reduce it. No, I have an iPad too. Well, if you already have an iPad was, Mini, was then if you could just kind of squish it down. If you send it right to here. Garage, though, we will cut it down and we'll find that same size. <laughs> <And what we'd... laughs> we lost you. We lost you, Apple. Come back. Come back, Apple. Come in, Apple. What color do you want? Your... Even if it's all the same specs as the iPad 2, if the price is right. Oh, strong. oh, now they're kind of, Oh, see now Paul's getting exactly in there. The right well, you know, I, I, he's about to become an Apple, uh, an iPad. <laughs> you know, I, iPads are are awesome. I have no problem with those. I, I just uh, use it. Just in general, you know, the Apple products are are very expensive. I think they're generally worth the quality. But when you're on a budget and you say, okay, I can buy this Apple thing and it costs me, and the aluminium. you know, a thousand dollars, or I can buy the PC equivalent and it's 200. That that makes a big difference for a lot of people. So. I think it's a beautiful detail yeah, that further does. reduces parts and actually makes it more durable. We also designed an entirely There's new smart cover for the iPad mm. Mini. No more metal By eliminating the guys. separate aluminium hinge, oh. we now essentially wrap the, the iPad one? Mini yeah. in a single, simple colored material. It, it's it's the the biggest challenge that we faced was incorporating all of these great features in a much smaller and lighter device. I want to see Bob Mansfield. In order to do this, every this part had to be custom designed. 
starting with the display. The glass on the front and back are only 0.2 millimeters thin. The touch subsystem is a mere 0.12 millimeters thin. It weighs half as much as any we've ever done before. Beyond on the screen, we took some dramatic steps to maximize interior space. It has the largest and thinnest single cell battery we've ever designed. Are you? We designed a small motherboard to house the powerful A5 chip. So really, like, smaller, like Apple's just design. historically been an annual upgrade in your six-month upgrade. Each it doesn't I've, allow you to take I've amazing never been in each unhappy with my legacy Apple. We've been able to I think that's the shock. I don't think anybody expected an upgraded processor in the iPad 3. They were talking about a lightning connector, maybe, but I think that's the real surprise that we've had so far. Is that there's a is that there is an iPad 4 that was announced today to make a product that is incredibly thin. It has absolutely remarkable Priscilla says this iPad mini is like an iPod and touch for old people. They don't have to find their reading glasses to use it. <laughs> One that will be used in so many different places. In so many different or it's like an iPad for people who have really good vision. <laughs> 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 Oh, there's a starting price. I see it. I'm not, I won't say anything. I'll hold yeah, on. Don't, don't say anything. I'm, I, see, we don't know the rest of us. You and your privilege. iPad mini is every inch an iPad. Two. As you saw, it comes with a <laughs> line of accessories, including these optional smart covers that come in blue, green, pink, light gray, dark gray, and even a great product red one as well. They're smart, so they work with the software intelligently, and they're great to use in every angle. They really complement this incredible new iPad Mini. The iPad Mini starts with a full 16 gigabytes of memory. Right, before this, before our podcast this morning, I said 329. At 329. There it is. That's not bad. Yeah, it is bad. We needed to be at 200. The Nexus is 199. That is the lowest price True. for an iPad, helping us to reach even more customers. Well, this is the iPad and lineup. Monday, the Nexus may not be 199. That 8 gig Nexus is 199. IPad, Monday. Fourth generation with a Retina display wow, at 499. That that of course, there are many configurations of memory you can choose from. So there, those all are the Wi-Fi configurations, and then of course so cellular what is configurations. An LTE, what's the baseline so LTE model? Wide range of price 459. For for each right. most Boy. amazing tablet device that anyone anyone has offered. Now, if you want to get your hands on one, how are you going to do that? Well, both iPad Mini and the fourth generation iPad will be able to start to pre order this Friday on October 26th. Yeah, sometimes I see Apple announcements and I feel like. And the Wi Fi versions will ship first, just a week later. Now the iPad 4 gets me excited. Well, the <laughs> processor, and, yeah, the processor. Yeah. And I, I wanna, I'm, I'm excited to see what exactly that processor is about. Yeah. Phil's yeah, I've got on us there. Like, you're going to think so, so crazy. So, you know, the right now, the tablet I want is the Amazon Fire HD. Of course, like all of our products, HD, it's very hard like to, to make sure there's I like environmentally the friendly. I am shocked by that because I thought a week ago you wanted a Microsoft Surface. It's it's Well, you know the whole theory on that. I've got my money set aside, but I'm not buying anything so I see what happens so this um, is Kindle amazing new the Kindle HD fire is anything that has uh, we're going to be reading. so excited really to like tell that. customers about it if they don't already know, I know how exciting it is right now thing. streaming this live and that's know, what I'm gonna add TV, TV I said it's it, it's a niche thing. I mean, I so so you want to be that that immersive reading is the audio book could be reading aloud and it'll highlight as you're going along where it is in the actual yeah text if itself. you if you buy with the with the Kindle Fire HD if you buy a Kindle book and an Audible has the Audible version of it for three or four dollars more you can get the Audible and so it you it, it highlights as it's reading through which I really like and if you're like I am, and I think you too, Tony. You're a, an auditory learner. Like that's that's just how we do. Yeah, I, mean, I have no compulsion to get the iPad Mini. Now, I will tell you this: that for Sherry, that'd be a huge thing for her, wouldn't it? Now, here's a question that Priscilla brings up: Is there going to be a student discount on this? In the education store? There will be. Now, how much it is? You know, it's usually their standard discount is uh, fifty bucks. So I doubt you'd see fifty dollars. I think you'd I think you'd see that twenty nine dollars chopped off. Yeah, you can see it right at the end. They just really came up with the most creative way to introduce an iPad Mini. Everyone already knows how the iPad is. And that's iPad Mini. Let me turn it back to Tim. 
Right, well, I, I would say that's it. I, we're not gonna, I mean, I'm no, the surprise today is the iPad 4. And it's, yeah, I think that's the bigger announcement than, I mean, than the Mini. Earlier this year. Uh -huh. Yeah, who was that but, um, speaking to? Uh, you would that see was Paul. Some incredible innovation. From yeah, Paul agrees with you on that. The the iPad 4 is yeah, the I mean, as far as like the big news that's very interesting, nobody knew that was coming. I agree. It was a surprise. Yeah. They barely problems. talked about it. I got to see what agree. the... I need to know what that A6X processor is. Yeah, if I was going to go out and get an iPad, that's what I would get and give Sherry my iPad 3. In mobile operating yeah. Systems with hundreds yeah. Of new features, including great new Because I tell you, this A6 processor in this iPhone 5, it is incredible. It is a great, fast, well-made. A completely redesigned yes, we were there. We heard. an amazingly thin fifth-generation iPod Touch. We launched the so unbelievable who's buying, who's buying iPod, iPod Touches? iPod Touches? Thin and light yeah, design kids. And beautiful and form like an, arc an, an iPod Touch or an iPod Nano? What are we, we talking about? Which one? iPod Touch. Oh, yeah. Like notebooks Hannah. And reinvented the Pro Notebook. Okay. There's like with the 13 inch. You go to someone you don't want to run youth camp or display. kids camp. Okay. Like that's what you you gotta confiscate those things all over the place. Unbelievably thin. Okay. Yeah. Tia, Brittany, Anna. Oh, yeah. Tia. Yeah. Earlier this year, wow. we announced a third generation. And it's scary because they FaceTime each other. Wow. <laughs> my children in my children's group FaceTime each other. <laughs> and that freaks me out because I don't know that mom and dad know what in the world that's about. I bet you some down there on your clueless. Oh, I gotta be careful when I say this is a conversation yes. we need to have off air. Yes. Okay. Because, <laughs> because we don't want Paul to hear. <laughs> with all of these new products. <laughs> All of the applications and cloud services. Hey, Paul. This yes. You know, I. Truly prolific year um, of innovation. I, I hear what you're saying about like you know if if, if an Apple product is a thousand bucks and you're strapped for cash, you know, and, and the PC creating. side is five hundred. Um, I personally like. To and I get that, and I used to be of that opinion, or I mean, I used to operate under that. So but I'm just going to tell you one anecdotal story. Um, five years ago, I bought an HP, and it's when Vista was released, uh, and that that computer was so problematic. I didn't know it was related to Vista, and so, but I sold it, and I sold it at about a $400 loss at the time, and then I went out and bought an Apple product, and I had it as my as a white MacBook. And I had it for almost four years. I paid a thousand for it. At the end of four years, I got four hundred and sixty dollars for it oh, on yeah. eBay. Definitely, definitely retain their value. Yes. Yeah. And so while you know, I paid more up front. I got it back on the back end. And I can't tell you how many notebooks that I bought. I remember a Toshiba I bought for two thousand dollars and sold it for fifty when I was, you know, and, and that was three years later. Sold it for fifty dollars three years yeah. later. So uh, you're talking about a at two thousand dollars, you're talking about one thousand nine hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah, when you're looking at depreciation, definitely, you know, looking at a difference. I mean, my and that's my it. first laptop done. was a Sony Vio, and I I used that thing all through college, and uh, and the best deal I could get on it when I needed to sell it was to trade it for for a Wii. You know, yeah. with somebody on Craigslist. So, yeah, I, I definitely get that. About for me, it's about um, how long. I, I'm not. I don't upgrade my technology every every time the new thing comes out. I I buy the best I can afford at the time, and I get and I like my car. I'm going to use it till it's dead, till I can't use it anymore. Same here. So. No, I mean, usually I'm that, and I've been that way with computers. This Apple was the first experience I had where, you know, four years later, I said, hey, I'm going to see if I can sell an upgrade. Um, and, again, the nice thing was that I was at least able to get money out of it. But, but you know, for the most part in my life, I'm like you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to take it until it just can't go any, any longer. Mm -hmm. And I think, to I mean, you say that's an anecdotal and a anecdotal story for you, but then it's also Pastor Buddy, same story. Um, who else? Somebody else yeah. that we know. Yeah, we on, on the district, uh, our di we got our district superintendent. Uh, we bought him a refurbished Mac, a 13-inch MacBook for $849. Three years later... Um, After he 
banged it up and <laughs> dropped it and just like destroyed it. Yeah. Three years later, we sold it for 400 bucks and then, of course, upgraded him. And for us, we it's a three-year cycle because it's just an IRS thing. Um, oh, no, I'm sorry. It's a warranty thing. So Apple will only give you three years warranty. And as we buy a computer, we do buy the three-year warranty. Um, the district does just because the DS does so much travel. But um, the first computer we bought for him was a Dell, and um, it wasn't even worth selling. Yeah, no, it was it was trashed. It was, and, and, and that makes sense. When I like, even I, I looked up how much would it cost for me to get uh, older version iPad, and the prices are still probably more than I could buy a brand new, yeah. you know, Google Pad. So yeah. it's kind of like, oh, well, do I want a used iPad or do I want a brand new, you know, Google, you know, device? And and uh, so they still have that trade off too. So. Now, it, now talking on the PC side of things, can I say this, that like this PC I'm using right now, it's actually, I'm not running Windows on it, I've got Ubuntu, but um, I am impressed with Lenovo. I, I think I think if you're looking for a machine that's just durable, um, this computer's seven years old now, it has a dual core processor in it, and I was just fortunate, I know a tech guy, and he got this, I got it free, and the, the screen didn't work, It and so I... I order a new screen. It cost me eighty nine dollars, and you know I put it, I installed it myself, and I, you know, I found the manual, and it told me how to tear it down. Um, but I mean, this thing, it's a snappy machine. Um, one. What else have you uh, up upgraded though? Do you have a solid state drive in it? Oh no, no, not in this one. No, okay. No, no solid state drive. Okay. Yeah, and that's the way, Paul. I don't know, boy. You want to take an old computer and make it fresh? Just switch out the spinning hard drive with a solid state drive. <laughs> Wow. My word, yes, my word. So we installed uh, OS X Mountain Lion on all our computers, and the solid state drive computers we did them all together. I mean, it took about three and a half to four times as long for Heath to get it installed on his spinning drive yeah. than it did for, and it's just absolutely incredible. Um, yeah, you feel like you have a new computer when you switch out the spinning drive with a solid state. All right. Well, hey, thanks for hanging out with us for this Apple announcement, and it's been a pleasure. We'll see you guys later. Hey, thanks Bye. for hosting. Bye. Bye. Bye.